Hey YouTube and welcome to another episode of All Knives Matter. I'm your host, Knife 16. I want to thank you for coming by today because you know by the title we have a really cool knife to show off today. We're going to be looking at the K-Bar USSF Fighting Knife or also known as the Space Bar. I purchased mine at the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. This knife is the same size and matter of fact at the Smoky Mountain Knife Works it's the same price as all their other knives. It is about 11 three quarter inches long and the blade is seven inches long. So uh, K-Bar makes a knife for every branch of our military. They make one for uh, the Marines of course. That's really what this knife is known for is the Marines knife. But they make one for the US Army, they make one for the Air Force, for the Navy. And when the Space Force came out, they decided that they wanted to make one for the Space Force too. Now, none of these, as far as I know, are actually licensed by our U.S. military. Um, they may be bought in small quantities by the U.S. military. I believe that the Marines do purchase these. But, that being said, um, none of them are officially licensed. So, they got together and they came up with this beautiful knife. The blade is made out of 1095 Crovan steel. It has a gray powder coat, a very light gray powder coat. The guard, which is, you can tell, bent backwards on each side, is also powder coated gray. And the cap is also powder coated gray with the little bit of the tang that you can see here. These handles are made out of their craton, and it's a Space Force blue. Hopefully you can get a good view of what this blue looks like. I'm not sure if the camera is doing it justice or not, but it's such a neat looking knife. It really is. On this side, hopefully you can see that, it says K-Bar in their space um, font. And then on this side it says USSF, which again stands for United States Space Force. The Kraton handles give it such a great grip. I mean, it really does. You grip that in your hands, and it's not going anywhere. Um, these grooves, which um, are for grip, they also uh, are on the leather handled versions. So it also gives it that nice K-Bar look. But they really do a lot. You can really tell that they're really helping to keep the knife in your hand. Here, you can see it has a fuller going this way up the blade. Um, it has this beautiful uh, clip point buoy tip that all United States um, K-Bar knives have. Uh, you can tell, like all the others, this blade is offset a little bit. I used to not like that, but the more that I look at it, the more I like it. It's just such a great knife. This knife comes with a uh, plastic sheath has a drain hole here it has rivets on the sides here it also has slots so you could attach this in a lot of different ways it has two ears here and what those are for clicks on to hopefully you can see that the guard and so you push this ear out here and it comes right out it's really not bad if you try to just jerk it out it's harder to do, but if you know how to do it, it's easy. Also, this is completely ambidextrous. Um, so if you're left-handed, it's not a problem there. The knife sheath also has a nylon belt loop, which I really like. It has this plastic piece here in case you want to wear this like in a drop um, leg position. But if you don't, which I don't, I don't have any use for that, it just tucks away right there and it's out of the way. It has a snap, which you really don't need. I understand why they put it in there, but you really don't need it. But it has a snap here. And uh, it's made of very thick, very high quality nylon webbing, both the belt loop and the strap. It's just an extremely, extremely well done knife. The only con that I can tell on this knife, and it's very petty, if I was them, I would have spent the extra time to clean the pin up just a little bit. I don't really care for that, but 
like I say, it's very petty. I don't really care. It's a great knife. I really, really like this knife. And I think that if you're interested in fighting knives or in space or in knives in general, that this is a great addition to your collection. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. This has been a Knife 16, again, with All Knives Matter. And I'll see you in the next video.